Bite Size Science, sponsored by Anglian Water. Keeping ideas flowing. Science is boring, except when it isn't, as the children at Arbour with Denton Primary School are about to find out. I'm arriving armed with three of my most spectacular science demonstrations with a mission not just to entertain, but to educate. And chemical reactions are things that happen when you put two things together. So if you put two things together, and they make something else, that's called a chemical reaction. Now I've got some water in this container and I'm gonna put this thing, which is called Alka-Seltzer, I'm gonna put it inside there, but at the moment that's not doing anything, is it? And at the moment that's not doing anything, is it? But if I put that in there, can you see it's doing something? And that's because it's a chemical reaction. There's a gas called carbon dioxide, which is the same thing that we breathe out when we breathe out we breathe out carbon dioxide, but that's a chemical reaction. We can do something quite fun with that. We can launch some rockets. So these are going to be my rockets. So I've got a little, little film canister. You probably won't know what on earth they are, but we've got a little canister. I've got a piece of Alka-Seltzer stuck to the top. I'm going to pop the lids on. And what's going to happen is that the water and the Alka-Seltzer are going to mix, and they're going to make that gas called carbon dioxide. And when the lid's on, but there'll be a pushing force pushing in all directions inside this, and eventually the lid will be pushed off and the whole thing will shoot up in the air. Should we try it? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be a little pop each time one of them goes up in the sky and it might even reach the ceiling. Hopefully we won't break the lights. Up. Oh, there we go, there's one. Oh. <laughs> so we've got some other chemical reactions. Two really good chemical reactions actually. Now one of them is to show you how rockets work. So we used, for those rockets, we used water and we used Alka-Seltzer, didn't we? Yeah? But real rockets don't use water and Alka-Seltzer, they use something called hydrogen and oxygen. Now hydrogen is a gas which is not inert and that means if we try and set fire to hydrogen gas, what do you think it's going to do? It's going to mix with the oxygen, what's going to, is it going to create anything? It's going to set on fire. So hydrogen is a gas which is not inert, it reacts and it mixes with the oxygen in the air and it makes a fireball. And this is why we used hydrogen to, to run rockets. So I want you all to block your ears. <gasps> Whoa, how cool was that? Wow. Now I've got one more chemical reaction, doesn't make any noise, I've got one more chemical reaction called the elephant's toothpaste. Who has heard of that one? Have we all heard of that one? No? Well, um, so this is hydrogen peroxide. This has got hydrogen and oxygen inside it, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this stuff, which is a different type of chemical called potassium iodide, to get all the oxygen out, okay? So that's gonna be the chemical reaction. So we're gonna put some washing up liquid inside the hydrogen peroxide and mix it up. And then what we'll do is we'll add the potassium iodide to it. it. Doesn't make any noise, it's fine. We're gonna add the potassium iodide to it and that will allow us to get all of the oxygen out of the liquid, all right? And, ooh. Whoa. 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 Uh, look at that. Whoa. Can you see all the steam coming off it? Yeah? That's because this type of chemical reaction is what's known as uh, exothermic. And that's a really big word, but exothermic means that it's giving off heat and it's giving off its own energy. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah? And that's why I can see it hot. So this is just lots and lots of bubbles of oxygen that's all, all been trapped by the washing up liquid. You can still see, it's still chucking it all out, look. Ugh. And that'll probably keep going. So that's the chemical reaction still going. My fa I had two favourite things, and now it's using the volcano and what and watching it when he, Mark set the hydrogen balloon on fire. That's and it and it went into a fire bomb. Were you scared? Yeah, mostly because it was like there was some going that way and some just going up. 
I could explode it. So are you mostly excited or are you mostly scared? Mm, kind of in the middle. Kind of excited, kind of scared. My favourite part was when um, when all the water hit the ceiling. Um, my my second favourite thing was when the balloon popped and, and out came the fire. So out of, if you were to score a mark out of 10, what would you give him? 10. ten. <laughs> I'm thinking of the word, but I, I remember some, but I'm not sure um, how to say it, so I'm not sure if it's the right word, because I'm not sure I could say it properly, because they both start with her, but I can't say the right thing, because I might say one, then I'm hydrogen, and he... Um, Size Science, sponsored by Anglian Water. Keeping ideas flowing.